Hi, roller sports is a big part of my life. My name is Tom, and this is my crew. Welcome to Fun to Skate. Five, two, three. <laughs> Finding your perfect skate spot. Hi. To learn how to skate well, you need your perfect skate spot. Now this place is my version of a perfect skate spot. But I know places like this are not available to everybody. So, what I have for you are four tips how to find your perfect skate spot. Find smooth surfaces. Now this might look like I'm skating on a smooth surface, but in fact it feels like this. Exactly. Ouch. I don't recommend this surface to inline skate on. Period. Oh, now this feels much better. But beware, where there is asphalt, there's soon traffic to follow. Inline skating in traffic is something that I try to avoid. It is downright scary and you constantly have to be aware of what's happening around you. Is it an enjoyable experience? Nah. Especially those wretched crossings. Would I suggest anybody who's trying inline skate for the first time to try this? No way! Probably after some searching, somewhere close to you, you'll be able to find something like this. Smooth pavement, no traffic. Nice, but is it perfect? Now this stretch here, I find it to be a great skate spot. For me, I've been skating for quite some time now. For the beginners, for the kids, for the first-timers, nah. I think we can do better than that. Which brings me to this empty basketball court. Number three, ample space. Here, you've got smooth surface, no traffic, and ample space, which is essential to make sure that you get the basics of inline skating. The conditions here are great for learning how to inline skate because you can try out stuff at your own pace and time. There's no stress factors that will inhibit you from progress. And if you do fall, relax. No one's looking. So it becomes even better if beside the basketball court there's a small patch of grass. Or if not, you can take your bathroom mat with you and this is where you can try out new or more complex stuff without the fear of rolling. Great for schools of kids. So the only fourth point you have to be worried about is weather. Now it's not nice to skate while it's pouring cats and dogs but there is a solution. Come with me. Yippee! Now, this is really nice. Really smooth surface, definitely no traffic, and if you look hard enough, you will find a place just big enough for you to try out your new inline skating skill. Now, a lot of mothers oppose this, but in my view, it's just about coming up with creative solutions. Skating indoors. Now finding somewhere to skate indoors might be easier than you think. It can be a garage, a parking structure, or even a shopping mall. Now using these pointers, you'll be able to find your favorite skating spot in the world. So, grab your skates and come on. Let's go! Wait a minute, we're not done yet. There is one thing you need to be cautious about. Not every shopping mall is excited about having inline skaters. So before you roll on their beautifully polished marble, please ask for permission. 
Now go have some fun.